The sexual appetite, the id, was opposed by the barriers, the ego, and the superego. When the directional flow of this energy is blocked by the ego and superego processes, it tries to break through the resistance and discharge itself in displacement activity or fantasy. And so through fantasy, the rational process of the ego and the superego are undermined. And so to our subjects. Each of the women you will see has been a patient of mine. The voices you will also hear were recorded by me personally during the treatment. Each one came to me with a feeling of guilt about their fantasy, and each was brought to an understanding by my own patient labors. I must admit, with the help of my assistant, the very lovely Hildi. Now first, Abby, Abigail. Abby's fantasy was exceedingly common. She was not happy in marriage. She could not overcome the belief that she was not sexually attractive in any way and always regarded herself as an ugly goosling. Of course, these fears that she had have no basis, none at all, as you will see. But her fantasy allowed her subconscious to overcome these fears. 